anything inflatable to go down and also it's cold and I'd be scared I think but we'll see if there are people there doing it that would be cool otherwise we'll just enjoy the nature um, then I'm gonna head into Gisborne itself check out the city and tonight I'm gonna be camping at Lake Waikari Moana which I'm very excited about anyway that's all for me right now see you at the next stop walk along the beach. Um, I think it's called Waikanae Beach. Uh, so after this I'll look at that. I think because it's a weekday there's not too much going on in the center of town. Gisborne is quite a small city um, by the looks of things anyway. But this river area just outside the city center is very lovely. Moana now. It's very beautiful. Um, just got my bag there ready to go for a walk. I have to figure out where the walks actually start from. This is the campsite. Um, there's lots, it's actually quite a big campsite. It goes all along the lake shore. I've chosen a zone, it's classified as, that's a bit far removed from the main buildings, but that's okay because I've got all my um, gear ready and there's a wee block there that has toilets hot showers what a luxury and um, some sinks which is good so I can cook um, some wildlife that's the lake and a few tables where I can cook at there's quite regularly some boats going past so I think this is now classified as a great walk. So in New Zealand we've got lots of hiking trails, but great walks are, I guess, the greatest. <laughs> um, the most famous, usually multi-day walks. Um, I think this one goes all around the lake, which of course I won't be doing since I'm only here for one night and I'll be going to Rotorua, slowly making my way back towards Auckland. But the boats can take you to various points along the walk. Um, I suppose if you don't want to do the whole thing. But I think I'm just going to walk around this area once I can figure out where the entrance is. 
Um, I'm just gonna eat something and then I'll go to the visitor center. It's actually something I wanted to see anyway. It's um, a building that I've studied, so um, I do architecture. Um, so I'd like to have a look at that and then hopefully they've got some maps there that will show me where I can go. I was speaking with another camper earlier and she told me there's quite a lot of waterfalls around so I'm hoping I can find some of those. Um, it has been raining a little bit, um, not at the moment but still I'm wearing my rain jacket and my rain pants just in case so I'm all prepared. Um, yeah, so I'm hoping the rain has meant that the waterfalls will be quite spectacular. All right, gonna get some food now and then see if I can find some walks. That over there is the Te Urewera Visitor Center. It's a building that I really wanted to look at. Um, the reason it's special is that it's the first building in New Zealand to obtain living building accreditation. So the living building challenge is an international accreditation system that looks at sustainability but more holistically. So rather than Green Star, it doesn't just focus on environmental outcomes but also community outcomes, social outcomes, as well as environmental. And points are allocated by a series of petals to complete a flower. The building was designed, I believe, by Jasmex Architects for the Tuhoi people as a client. Let's go check it out. I'm not sure if I'll be able to film on the inside, but we'll have a look at what we can. Alright, I'm just down the road from the Holiday Park where I was before. Um, I am about to do the Hinaro trek, which is a very short walk, just 30 minutes return. I'm gonna do a few treks around here. Um, so there's the Hinaro trek, uh, sorry, Hinaro walk. Um, I think I might do the walk over to the other lake. Uh, Probably look at some of the waterfalls, see how we go. It's 10 o'clock at the moment. Probably don't want to be in Rotorua too late, but I do want to enjoy my time here. It's the start of the trek over there. I can already hear a waterfall, I think.
just got to the second waterfall that I found, which was the Papakurito Falls. Let's check them out! Um, because I didn't have reception yesterday or on my drive here, or rather, you know, I wasn't actually on my phone while I was driving, um, I didn't really Google any campgrounds, so I just came to this one that I'd heard of, but boy, is it expensive? Probably wouldn't stay here again for that reason, but as you can see, it's in quite a beautiful location and it's pretty close to Rotorua itself as well so I'll make the most of my stay here uh, they do have hot pools so I might check those out all right I'm just on the lakefront at the moment um, I've decided not to book the hot pools tonight because I did some googling and I found out that there's a spa pool in town, a Polynesian spa it's called, that has pools that you can book for $22.50 I think, that you can book as an adult, I think, unlimited time, um, which is a lot better than the $15 for half an hour here and it's a proper, um, they've got mineral pools as well as a freshwater pool so I'll probably go check that out tomorrow. But for now I'm gonna see if I can find a nice walk along the lakefront. I do think there's a walk that connects to the redwoods um, but I probably won't be walking that tonight just because obviously it will be getting dark. Okay I found a walkway. It's um, blue light circuit. Goes around the lake I guess. It's meant to take an hour and a half which would take me to when the sun was about setting. It's 4.30 now, so I'll see how far I get. Yeah, it's getting pretty dark in the bush here. Camera actually makes it look lighter than it even is. So I don't think I'll manage to do the whole thing. But we'll see how we go. 